long back. We'll take the arms out long and let's just come on over to the side. We'll take it up elbow and all the way around. So it's side and reach back to the side and roll it around. Good. Just side and lengthen. Take it up. Keep the navel in as you roll around. Side and reach. Good. Take it up. Let's roll it all the way around. And from here, we're just going to rest the arms down by the sides. Sit up as tall as you can. And take the right ear to the right shoulder. The head comes down and around here. Now we'll take the left ear to the left shoulder. The head comes up center. And let's go ahead and grab onto our yellow ball. And we're going to start off here at the end of our mat today. So it's a lengthen up tall. Eric, does it feel good to be in the studio? Good. Well, come on Saturday morning. Everyone will be there on Saturday morning. Let's go ahead and articulate all the way back to the mat, arms and legs out long. Let's inhale as we reach out. And as we exhale, we're just going to roll up to our nice little roll up. Reach and stretch past the toes. Good. And articulate right back down. So inhale, lengthen. Exhale all the way up. Reach, stretch, breathe. Good. And right back down. Couple more. Inhale, navels in. Roll it up and breathe. Good. Nice little stretch, perfect. Let's just do three more here. Wake up through the spine. Roll it up for three. Stretch now. Remember, stay within a range of motion that works for you. Exhale two. Reach and stretch and articulate. And we'll do one more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale all the way up. Reach past the toes. Beautiful. And take it back to the mat. Now from here, we're going to inhale, prepare. As we exhale, just roll up, we're going to take the right knee, tuck it in, and pass, we're going to alternate right and left, so left knee, tuck, and take it right back down, good, exhale, right knee, tuck it in, and articulate, reach, beautiful, exhale, left knee, tuck it in, and oh, we'll just do four again, so it's four, tuck, and take it back slowly, exhale, three, tuck, good, nice and strong, last two, Tuck and open one more time. Roll it up, tuck it in. Now we're gonna do the same thing, just a nice long leg. Keep the leg straight. So pass behind the straight leg and open right back. That's good. Exhale, left leg, nice long leg. And right back down, perfect. Roll it up, breathe. Pass and open. So take your time on the way up and on the way back. Now remember, if you're just bringing the shoulders up off of the mat, that's okay, whatever works for you. Exhale up, pass that ball. We'll do four more here, then we'll add on. So four, pass, and articulate, good. Exhale, three, and pass. As are you breathing? Is your belly button in? Two, pass, and open. And one last time, roll it up, pass the ball. Now let's take it all the way back to the mat and let's reconnect. Now from here, you have two options. You can stay with your ab prep or C curve, or we can take this up to our very first set of V-sits for the evening. So let's inhale, draw the navel in. Exhale, roll it up, either ab prep, C curve, or V-sit, right leg past the ball, nice and long, and right back down, good. Exhale, left leg past the ball, and articulate, beautiful. So exhale, right leg. So for now, the legs are nice and long and straight. And left leg past, belly buttons in, and open, good, that's good. Exhale, breathe, pass, and open. Exhale, left leg, pass. So we're focused on the center. We're focused on our articulation. And let's focus on the legs. Nice, long, straight, beautiful lines, good. Erin, how many do you want to do? I was waiting for that. Good, exhale, seven, pass, belly buttons in. Good, legs are nice and long, six, pass. Good, looks good, looks perfect, guys. Exhale, five, pass, take it back slow. Last four, now breathe for four, pass, and nice and easy. Exhale, three, and pass. Good, last two, roll it up, two, navels in, pelvic floors, and then last time here like this. Now we're gonna keep on going. We're gonna tuck the knee in, we're gonna bend the knee in. 
So right knee, tuck it in, pass the ball, and take it right back down. Good. Take it out nice and easy. Is it nice and cool in here, Barbara? Okay, good. Good, that's good. Exhale up, tuck it in, pass, and take it back. Beautiful. Pull it up, breathe, pass behind the right knee. And remember, never using momentum, we're always in control, nice and easy. Pull it up, tuck, pass, and reach it all the way up. Barbara, how many do you think we should do? Okay, eight, pass, and articulate, wonderful. Exhale, seven, pass, and open, good. Pull it up to six, is your belly button still in, and is your pelvic floor engaged? Five, pass, and open. Here's our last four. Tuck it in, pass, and reach out. Exhale, three, pass, good, and articulate. And last two, breathe nice and strong, and then one more time. Roll it up, tuck it in, pass the ball. Let's take it all the way back to the mat here. Good, from here, we're going to tuck the knees in, pull the knees in. Now, I would like you to place your little yellow ball in between the ankles. If you have a back injury, please don't place a little yellow ball in between the ankles. We're gonna take the legs out at a diagonal, squeezing a little yellow ball in between the ankles, hands behind the head, head and shoulders up. We're gonna crunch up to the right and center and up to the left and center. Now, if you feel any stress in the back, you're gonna do this movement with the feet on the mat. You can do the same exact movement with the feet down on the mat. We can take them out of the diagonal. Whatever works for you right now is beautiful. Twist it up and center. Exhale, twist it up and center. Good, breathe and open. Wherever you are, you're pressing that roll back into the mat. You're feeling the pelvic floor engages eight and seven. Beautiful. Exhale six and five. Who looks good, guys? We have four, three, two, and one last time. Now rest the head and shoulders down. Pull the knees in, and let's just do one circle to the right, and then we'll do one circle to the left. Now from here, hands come back behind the head, knees are tucked in, head and shoulders up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to twist the knees in and you're going to take the left shoulder to the right knee and then legs go out long. Tuck it and twist right shoulder to the left knee and lengthen. So we tuck and twist. It's tuck and twist and open squeeze. Tuck and twist and open squeeze. Good. Isn't this fun, guys? I thought you'd like this. Twist and squeeze. Now, of course, you can place your feet on the mat if that's what feels better to you. And you can just twist up right and left. Just make sure you feel no stress in the back. Twist and lengthen. Beautiful. Twist and lengthen. Very nice. Breathe and reach. Good. Let's go for eight like this. Nice and strong. It's eight. And reach. Seven. And reach, good, six, and reach, last five. Keep that connection, it's beautiful, four, three, bye Barbara, okay, bye Bridget, two, and one more time. Now let's grab onto our little yellow ball, rest the head and shoulders down, and again, we'll do one circle to the right, and then we'll do one circle to the left. Now from here, we're going to place the silly yellow ball right in between our knees, right in between the knees. Hands go behind the head, and now from here, we're going to tuck it in and squeeze the ball, and then we'll lengthen out and squeeze. Here's your first option, or you can tuck it in and squeeze, and place the feet on the mat and squeeze, whatever works good. Whatever you do, you tuck and squeeze, place the legs wherever they feel good, and squeeze. So the important part is tucking and squeezing. And then squeezing the ball on the way down. Beautiful. Exhale. Tuck, squeeze, and reach and squeeze. Perfect. Crunch it in, squeeze. Make sure you're adding the breath in. Beautiful. Exhale up. Inhale, lengthen, squeeze. Yes. Exhale up. And inhale, reach, squeeze. Good. Crunch it way up. Like you want to bring your nose right to the silly yellow ball. Exhale, tuck. 
and inhale, all the way out, wonderful. Exhale, tuck it in, breathe, and inhale, lengthen out long, just for four, tuck, and reach it all the way out. Exhale, three, tuck, and again, take it out, one, and last two, breathe, tuck, and open, and one more time, tuck it in, lengthen out. Let's come on in, pull the knees in, rest the head and shoulders, and release the head to the right, and we'll take it center, and release the head to the left, good, and we'll take it center. Now from here, knees bent, both feet flat on the mat, hands behind the head, right leg goes out long. So left comes flat on the mat, left knee is bent, hands behind the head. Now what we're going to do is crunch it up as you take the right hand, so it's just a crunch, and then we hover just above the mat. Exhale, crunch it up, and inhale, open, good, roll it up, breathe, and open. So when I think about that flexion of the spine, feel the shoulders up on the exhalation, and press the roll back into the mat. Exhale, up, and open, exhale, peel it out, beautiful, and open, nice and strong, and articulate back, breathe, and center, good, it's four, and open, three, and open, two, and open. Last time, let's tuck it in as we twist. So we're gonna go ahead, twist, and lengthen. Just twist it up, and reach it up, good. Exhale, and reach, just four more here, guys. We'll do four, and lengthen, three, and lengthen all the way up and reach. Last one here, and we're just going to place the right foot down, the left leg goes out long. You ready? Just crunch it up and take it out long. Peel the shoulders up. You should be feeling these nice simple crunches are really getting to the cute little abdominals here. Exhale, peel it up and articulate back. So once you peel up as high as you can, let's try to peel up just a little bit higher, good, that's it. Lift and open, perfect. Lift and open. You should be having a nice, nice time. We have four here, so it's four and center, three and center, pelvic floor is two and center. And now we're just gonna tuck it in, twist it nice and easy. So twist and reach. Exhale, inhale, good. All the way up and lengthen out. Good, use that breath. Just twist and center. Beautiful twist and center. Try to take that shoulder up to the knee. We have four guys. Four and reach. Three and reach. Two and reach. And one last time. Rest the head and shoulders down. Pull the knees in and just release the head to the right and center and release the head to the left and center now from here we're going to have the knees bent feet flat on the mat arms down by the sides we're going to take the right ankle over the left knee while we're here we might as well inhale prepare as we exhale just going to press the heel and lift the hip up as high as we can if you want to touch the ceiling here we're just going to tap the mat and squeeze it up Tap the mat and squeeze. We're squeezing through this left hip and glute. Good. We'll try to find those glutes tonight just a little bit. Down and lift. Beautiful. Now think about that range of motion. We'll do eight from here, then we'll change it. Eight and up. Seven and up. Good. Six and lift. Last four, guys. So it's four. Squeeze it up. Three. Keep your belly button in. Good. Two. And lift one more time. Take it up, hold it up, hold it up here for four, three, two. And now we're gonna hold it here. I'm gonna take the right leg tabletop and let's continue on the top. So it's tap and squeeze it up, tap and squeeze it up. Good. Take the slap tip up, full beautiful range of motion. That's it. Tap and squeeze. Press that heel in. And of course, as we squeeze it up. We're going to take it up just as high as we can for eight and lift seven and lift good six and up are you guys breathing 
It's four, exhale, lift. Of course you are. Two, and one more time. Take it up, hold it up. Place the angle back on the knee. Take the hip up a little bit higher. Let's just pulse it up. Pulse it up, good. Can you feel that left glute starting to warm up and talk to us just a little bit? Pulse it up for 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, belly buttons, 10, 9, 8, 7, good, 6, 5, 4, 3, toes, and uno. So let's go ahead and rest it down. We're going to pull the knees in close. Let's have a little bit of fun, guys. Send the legs out long. Don't worry. You forget about the other side. Inhale as we stretch out along our mat. And now as we exhale, let's roll all the way up to the ceiling. Hinge forward, relax under the nice little stretch. Now we're going to roll it all the way up to sitting tall. While we're here, we're going to superset this left glute. Now, if it just so happens you were accidentally working your right glute just then, I want you to stay on your left, on your right. Otherwise, we'll stay on our left. Whatever glute you were just working, we're going to place the band around the ball of the foot. The foot is flexed, you're going to keep the band tight, and you're going to bring the legs around. So suddenly, here we are, like magic on our hands and knees. Yes, this is the most difficult part of the exercise. However you get here with the band around the left foot, that's all we care about right now. Whoops, take your time. So foot is flexed, we're just gonna take the knee, we're gonna bend it in and we're gonna press it out long. Bend it in and press it out. Really stretch that band out, find that glute. And of course, you're working through the hamstring as well. And you're working through the center as well. The tuck and squeeze it out. Good, nice strong hip and glute. Tuck and press, beautiful tuck and press, yes, back this long. Now let's try to keep those arms nice and long as well. So we'll do eight and press, seven and press, good, six and press. Last four guys, so it's four, reach it all the way out, three and reach, good, two and reach. Now take it up, hold it out, nice long line, pulse it up for eight, seven, six, is your belly button still in, four, three, Two, let's tuck it and press it out again. Just tuck and press, why not? Tuck and press, reconnect, tuck and press and keep that back long, that's it, that's perfect. Eight and squeeze, good, seven and squeeze it out, six and reach. Here's our last four guys, four, lengthen all the way out, three, two, and one more time. Take it out, hold it out, let's hold it out long, let's pulse it out. Pulse it up, lengthen up through those arms, lengthen up through that back. What do you say, guys? Eight, seven, six, five, sure you can, four, three, two, and one. Tuck it in, and let's go ahead and take the band off. But you know what sounds like a really, really good idea? I'm gonna say right here. That's coming, but before that, Let's take our little yellow ball and let's place it behind that left knee. Does that seem crazy to you? No. No. So this is highly logical. So navel's in. Now we're going to flex it, but we're going to tuck it in. We're going to keep the knee bent as we take the heel to the ceiling. Tuck and press. Tuck and press. Good. So we're still really working on trying to feel this left glute work. Tuck. And press it up, yes, tuck it in and squeeze, good. Press that heel up to the ceiling, then press it up even higher. Bend and reach, keep that chest out over. Of course, navels and pelvic floor is engaged. We have eight like this, and we'll pulse. Eight and squeeze, seven and squeeze. Good, try to feel that left foot work. Just four more here, guys. Four all the way up, three and lift, two, and lift. Now take it up, let's put just as high as you can, take it up, little pulses, little pulses. Good, chest is over, pulse, pulse. Now lift it up even, just a little bit higher, 16, 
15, 14, 13, good, 12, 11, 10, press that heel to the ceiling. And here we are, last four, three, two, now cross it over into a curtsy. So just cross it over, just cross it over, good. Chest stays out over the hands, press the heel into that curtsy, pulse for eight, seven, six, five, yes, four, three. And now we're gonna just single curtsy, so tuck it in. Tuck it in, take it back behind you. Tuck it in and take it back. We're almost done, I promise. So just breathe through it, keep that focus tuck and squeeze back behind you. Tuck and squeeze, good. Tuck and squeeze. Excellent, four more here, just four. Take it over, three and breathe, good, two. And breathe one more time, tuck it in, take it up back behind you. Let's tuck it in, take the little yellow ball out, and pull it back into your shell stretch. Here we are in our shell stretch. We knew it was coming. As we exhale, let's roll all the way up to kneeling. And this seems like a great time to grab a quick little sip of water. So grab a quick little sip of water. Go ahead and turn the fans on. Whatever you want to do is a good idea. All right, guys. Now, from here, we'll come on up tall when you're ready. We'll roll it back to the mat. Arms come down by the sides. This time, left ankle over right knee. So let's inhale, prepare, and we're just going to exhale, squeeze it up and then tap the mat, good. So the left ankle is on the right knee. We just switched legs here, all the way up, all the way down. Good, just lift and lower, perfect. Keep on breathing, nice and strong. Good, just a couple more here for eight and tap. So this is all about the range of motion and visualizing the muscles that we want to target. So we have four, yes, three, two and now take it up hold it up we're going to take the leg tabletop and pulse it pulse it up pulse it up nice little pulse is good press that heel in and continue to think about that range of motion eight seven six five belly buttons four three now singles tap the mat just tap and squeeze all the way up tap and squeeze Working through the hip and glute, nice and strong, good, down, and all the way up, of course, rest if you need to. Left leg tabletop, good, we have four more here, then we'll pulse it, four, and lift, good, three, and lift, two, all the way up. Now take it up as high as you can, take the ankle over the knee, take it up a little bit higher, and let's pulse just a few more pulses, just Pulse it up, pulse it up. Good, beautiful. We'll pulse for 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Relax those shoulders. Eight, seven, six, five. And here's our last four. Three, two, and one. Rest it down. Pull the knees in close. Send the legs out long. Let's stretch out along our mat, nice deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're going to roll all the way up to the ceiling. Hinge forward, relax down, drop the head. And now let's roll it up to sitting tall. And here we go, now we're gonna switch to the right foot. So however you feel comfortable getting a band on the ball of your foot, go ahead and do it whatever way feels right for you. You can place it around the foot and bring the legs around or through, or you can come on down to the hands and knees and then put it around, whatever works. The important part is that we come on out so the back is nice and long, the navel's in, and the band is flat around the ball of the foot. Good. We're just going to tuck it in and press the heel away. Tuck it in and press. Tuck and squeeze. 
Good, yes. Now, as we're working through this resistance, we're slicing right through it like it's nothing. Tuck and press it away. Each time you squeeze to the right glue, let's draw the navel in just a little bit more and add your breath in there just to help with that connection. So it's eight and press, seven and press, long back, long torso, strong center, strong legs, four, three. Barbara, you having fun? Good. Let's take it out. Let's hold it out and pulse it out. Pulse, 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 relax our shoulders. Good, take it up just a bit higher. Here's our eight pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now we tuck it in again, go ahead and tuck and press, that's it. Tuck and press, good. Exhale all the way out, nice and strong. We have eight, seven, don't worry, we're almost there. Six, five, and you can do four or anything, four, and press it away, three, just cut right through it, two, and one more time, press it away, tuck it in, take the band off, and now why don't we take this little yellow ball and we'll place it right behind the right knee. There. Okay, so chest is out over, navel's in. Let's take the right knee, tuck it in and squeeze it up. Tuck it in and squeeze. Tuck, press the heel right to the ceiling. Good, nice strong glute, just bend it in and reach. By now, you really shouldn't have much trouble finding that right glute. Can you feel that, Erin? Okay, good. Just making sure, making sure it's not just me. Bend it in and heel to the ceiling. Each time we send it up, let's go for a little bit wider on a range of motion. So it's four and squeeze it up. Three and squeeze it up, beautiful. Two and last one, take it up, hold it up. Hold it up high, pulse it up, pulse it up. Good, so we take it all the way up and then we let it drop down just a teeny, teeny little bit. So it's 16, 15, 14, are you still connected? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now let's take it to a curtsy pulse, cross it over, cross it over here. Good, and take it up even higher. Keep the arms long and chest square to the mat as you cross it over 16, 15, 14, belly buttons, that's it, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and our last quattro. Trace, don't now tuck it straight in, just a couple like this, tuck and cross it over, tuck and curtsy over, tuck and squeeze. Here's our last four, this is it. It's four and reach, three and reach, two and reach, and one last and tuck it in, squeeze it over, Bend it in, take the ball out, and pull it back into your shell stretch here. All the way back, drop the head. And now let's roll all the way up to sitting tall. Let's grab a quick sip of water. Nice, nice work, guys. We'll do a quick sip of water here. While we're on the subject, let's come on kneeling tall. So if you want to go ahead and put some extra padding if you'd like to for your knees, and then we'll come on down to our right side, half plank position, left leg goes out long. So half side plank, left leg out long. Good, from here we're just gonna circle back, circle back, nice little circles, good. Just reach out long, squeeze through the glute as you circle. Good, try to keep the shoulders and the hips stacked. Keep the eyes out in front of you, at the wall in front of you to help you stay nice and tall. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now we're gonna add on a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap and lift, circle two and one. Tap and lift, circle two and one. Good, tap and take it up. 
circle, circle, perfect, tap, and lift, two, how many of these should we do, Barbara? Okay, so it's eight, and lift, circle, somehow I feel like she didn't really want to say eight, but it could be in my imagination, don't worry, we just have six, and lift, circle, circle, five, remember you can come all the way down to your side if you need to, Always rest when you need to, and always do what feels good. That's it. Tap and lift. We only have two more here, so it's two. Lift, circle, and one more time. Tap, lift it up. Nice little circle. Rest it down, and let's pull it right back into our shell stretch here. Drop the head. Nice deep breath in. And now as we exhale, we're going to take it all the way down to our side here. All the way down to our left side. Nap position. That feels better, doesn't it? Yeah. We're just going to rest here. All right, so navel's in, pelvic floor's engaged. Hand behind the head. Squeeze the legs together. Let's go ahead and get connected. We'll feel strong. We're not resting anymore. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, peel it up. We're going to point it up for three and squeeze, two, and squeeze, and one more time, and we take it down and open. So take it up, it's three, and squeeze, two, and squeeze, and one, squeeze together, and open up two more times, take it up, so it's three, two, and one, good, let's open up, and one more time here, Take it up, it's three, and squeeze, two, and squeeze, and one last time. We'll come on down to the mat, nice work. Take it center, pull it back into your shell stretch here, all the way back, drop the head. Let's roll it up to kneeling, and we'll take it up center tall, and then we'll come on down to our left side plank position. Remember, you can come all the way down to your side into that position if you like. Now from here, let's stabilize, stack the shoulders, stack the hips, and circle back. Just circle back, circle back. Good. Nice long lines, nice little circles. Try to work from the hip, not the knee. Good. Couple circles, just eight, belly button seven, six, perfect, five, four, three. Are you ready for the little tap? We're going to go ahead and tap and lift, two, and one, okay? Tap, and lift, two, and one. So we have eight, lift, circle, circle, belly button, seven, lift, and circle, circle, good, six, and up, nice little circles, nice and strong, five, and up, good, long, straight leg, last four, lift, circle, circle, three, and lift, good, beautiful, last two, and circle in one more time, tap, and lift, circle, and circle, rest it down, pull it back into a shell stretch, and now as we exhale, we're going to come on all the way out, into our left side nap position, very comfortable here. So let's take the hand behind the ear. Let's reconnect. Inhale, prepare. And as we exhale, we peel it up. Take it up three and flex. Good. Two and flex. And one more time. And open right back down to the mat. Exhale, lift. Trace. Doles. And uno. Good. And right back down. Just a few more. Exhale, lift. Three and flex, two, and flex, and one, squeeze together, and open two more times, exhale up, belly button still in, two, and one, and then one more time like this, exhale, squeeze it up, breathe, three, two, and one, let's go ahead and take it right back down to the mat, we'll come on center, Let's pull it back into our shelf stretch here, all the way back. And then we're going to roll it up to kneeling tall. 
We'll grab a quick sip of water and let's grab onto our little yellow ball here and come on down to the end of the mat. So bring the legs round or through. Oh my goodness. I don't know how this happened. We just got started. We literally just got started. Doesn't it feel that way to you? Of course. <laughs> we can't we pretend? Let's lengthen out tall. <laughs> and let's roll it all the way back here. Arms go out long and legs go out long. Good. From here, we're going to inhale, prepare. As we exhale, we're just going to roll it up, pass it behind the right knee and open. And let's alternate. Roll it up, pass it behind the left knee and open. That's it. Nice and easy. Just roll it up, right knee, tuck, and articulate. Open, beautiful. And it's left knee, tuck. We'll do one more time each side. Roll it up, right knee. Use your breath and open. And last time, left knee and tuck. All right, let's take it back to the mat. Now, from here, guys, here are your options. You can stay with an ab prep or C curve, or yes, we may take this up to a final set of V-sits if you like. Just please make sure to stay where you have control. So let's inhale, prepare. As we exhale, we're going to roll it up either ab prep, C curve, or V-sit, right knee. And we'll take it right back down to the mat. Exhale, roll it up, left knee tuck, and then take it right back down, roll it up. Right knee tuck and open good. Exhale, breathe. Left knee navels in and open. Wonderful. Pull it up. Breathe, tuck, and articulate back to the mat. Let's just have fun with this movement. Nice control over the articulation. Exhale up, tuck it and breathe and open. Beautiful. Exhale, roll it up, tuck. We just have eight like this. That's it. Exhale, eight. Tuck, take it back slowly, gently. Exhale, seven, tuck, and articulate, good. Breathe for six, pass the ball. And exhale, five. Of course, we can do four of anything. Breathe for four, and pass. And exhale, three, navels in just a bit further on the way up. Breathe for two, pass and open, and here we are. Last one, tuck the ball, pass the ball. Let's take it all the way back, drop the little yellow ball, stretch it along, along the mat. Circle the arms around and pull the knees into the chest, pull them in close. We're just going to do one circle to the right, and then we'll do one circle to the left. Now from here, let's hold on to the right knee, left foot goes flat on the mat, knee is bent. We'll take the right ankle over the left knee, reach through and hold on behind the back of the left leg here. Now let's go ahead and relax the neck and shoulders. We'll get very comfortable and let's settle into this wonderful stretch as we open up through this right hip that we really spent a lot of time focusing on working today. So I'm gonna stay here for two more breaths as you relax into your mat. Feel the hip opening, feel the neck and shoulders opening, and just feel the entire body relaxing here. And now let's go ahead and release. We're going to place the right foot on the mat, left ankle goes over the right knee, and let's reach through and hold on behind the back of the leg. Then again, relax the neck and shoulders. Feel that wonderful stretch through that left hip here. And just settle in and get very comfortable. So let's stay for just another breath. And now, guys, let's release. And now we're going to send both legs out long, arms go overhead. Nice deep breath in as we stretch out along our back. And as we exhale, we're going to roll all the way up to the ceiling. Good hinge forward, relax down and drop the head here. Just feel the low back open, open up through the back of the leg. 
wonderful openings in the neck and the back of the shoulders as well. And now let's roll slowly all the way up. Just sitting tall. But let's take it center, guys. Awesome, awesome job, Now Let's come on all the way up. And we're going to open up and come on down to the right forearm. Just stretch it out long here. And now let's circle around and come on down to the left forearm. Reach out long, press that right sit bone into the mat. And now let's take it up tall, as tall as you can. So top of the head up to the ceiling, shoulders roll down and back. And just take the right ear to the right shoulder. Head will come down and around. And take the left ear to the left shoulder. Good head comes up center. Guys, let's take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, pull it center. And then one more time. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, press away. Happy to 